got off the bus. And uh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Police vehicle over there. Down there flashing his red lights. <laughs> I tell you, they don't stop. That's why I gotta record. That is why I gotta record. Because I won't stop recording. Then. Okay? The one thing I would not do that I'm not willing to do is to wait till I'm old and gray. Well, I'm gray, well, till I'm very old, I should say. For when this stuff gets exposed, if it gets exposed, I'll come out and say, yeah, this was done to me. You guys will know, you'll see it, because hopefully my videos will still be up. And uh, I got an archive. I know people are archiving my stuff anyway, so, you know. Um, anyway, <laughs> so, as I said, um, you know, like I said, you know, people don't want to believe us when we talk about these things, man, because, you know, we're, we're programmed into not seeing, you know, what's in front of our face. You know, we're programmed to run from the truth because the truth make us feel sick, discomfort, you know? Yeah, sir. yeah. you hear the sirens? <laughs> yeah, so anyway, that's it. yeah, so th you know, that's what it is. <laughs> so when people speak the truth, you know, that built-in defense mechanism, the lies that I've been condition into our psyche you know especially as a black person that you know we we have a white supremacist inside of our minds and many people don't want to many black people don't even understand that concept okay they don't understand that concept now all you got to do is go you know read dr amos wilson read frank Phantom, uh, Phantom, I'm oh, sorry, not Phantom, Phantom. You know, it is uh, one of, these are two of the greatest black psychiatrists that have ever lived, along with Dr. Francis Cress. Well, well, she's not a psychiatrist, but, but in terms of psychiatry, these, those are the two, you know, what I would consider most important and that we should read particularly not just black people but anybody you should read so you, you can understand how black people have been conditioned right so when you 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 you, you see things happen and you get a better understanding of why and when you see black people behave in a certain way you get a better understanding of why okay and so you know like I said they don't they don't believe it but you have to you, you have to as a black person, you have to make a conscious effort, okay, or a Negropean, you know, there's a difference between a black person and a Negropean, all right? So, uh, you know, you got to make a conscious effort to send that white supremacist in your mind packing, okay? And then you need to learn, you need to come to that awakening that you need to learn about yourself as a black person, your history, that goes way well before beyond slavery okay and then if you don't feel angry about black people current condition which is continue to, to, to be uh, negative right if you don't feel anger inside and not anger that you want to go out and hurt somebody but anger inside that you you know like you, it's like it doesn't sit well with you okay and so you want to start to let other people know exactly what's going on so they can see also you know if you're not doing that then you know i don't know what just you know you're still a negro peer to me okay because it is until you make that kind of effort to have a african-centered way of thinking not to say that you can't you know you're not going to get rid of the european programming and that's okay but when I, when i talk about an african-centered way of thinking meaning that a way you're constantly in the awareness state okay 
and you're constantly looking at things that affect black people and calling it out. That you're not blaming other black people because you know that it is a broad and a multifaceted war that has been waged against us. Okay? And so, like I said, it always pains me that when I see black people who become wealthy, they, they, they detach themselves from the rest of us because they don't have a social responsibility built into their psyche to do what's right for their own group. But every other group of wealthy individuals, they have a sense of social responsibility to their group. And we see it all the time. It is only Negropeans, I didn't say black people, I said Negropeans are the only ones who have no social responsibility to their group only to themselves and their immediate family. That's it. And this is the mindset that they have instilled within the vast majority of Negropean people. Black people, on the other hand, you know, those that do, do try to uh, do those things, to have a social responsibility, they're met with sabotage. They're met with uh, harsh criticism, propaganda, negative propaganda. And I'll give you an example. You know, many people, Dr. Uma Johnson. This man has been trying to build a school and yeah, black people support him. I can't support him because I'm on disability, but if I was, I, if I had the, the means, I would totally, 100%. Okay? And you have people talk about, oh, you know, you always talk about building a school. They, you see, when, when there are people out there who, who are not doing anything except for criticize other black people for doing something that's in a positive light for black people, whether they be adults or children, and people come and, and try to degrade that person or a little group of people, what have you, then you gotta look at them for who they are. They are agents of white supremacy, and you gotta call them out. You know, they have no clue, no understanding of what it takes to build a school, run the school, hire the professionals to come in, teach the students, design a curriculum, you know, then what kind of books they're gonna be reading, so it is a, 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 a deep process. And the one thing that I say, the only thing that I don't like about Dr. Duma Johnson is that is the egotistical mindset that has been created. And I understand it. I understand why, because you, you can't trust these Negropeans. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You really can't trust it because you don't know who is an agent and who is not. You don't know until, you know, they've basically degrade, you know, degrade your life or lie on you and get you in trouble with the law or, or trick you or falsify shit, you know, then you know, but by that, by that time, it's too late, right? So this is how I look at it as TI, so that when you get it, when you get with other TI, Daddy. you gotta look at when you're targeted, right? Particularly when the people are targeting you feel like the upper hand, and they'll let you know. They walk around smiling, thinking that, you know, they're the shit, what have you. you want to say whatever to you, want to treat you however. But they think they got the upper hand. And then if you come around so-called TIs, and you start to see them do certain things to you, you know, there's a good chance that person is, is, is an agent, okay? And all you got to do is read um, The Hidden Evil PDF by Mark Rich. He talks about that, okay? And I have some very close encounter with some TIs, some so-called TIs, and I call them out. Okay, I call them out. Just like I call the people around me who I see engaging in this targeting towards me. I call, whether it be family members, so associates, because you know, not really friends, but associates, what have you. You know, people I may know, may grow up, what have you. I call them out. I have no problem with it. If you want to get your child, children involved in targeting me, I'll, I'll call you out and I'll call them out too. I'll put them on blast. Because you're engaging your children in a criminal conspiracy, a criminal act against me. And I have every right to protect myself. Okay? And you're, you know, like I said, they're very lucky and fortunate that I don't, I don't have the personality or the mentality like some other people, you know, who, who you know, are so distraught by this that they, the only way they see that they can end it is to do something harsh. 
you know, and I don't have that mentality. I don't have that personality. Though they may have, they, they may try to create that personality within me, as well as other personalities, but no. It isn't because and it's because I know. I know the psychological process, what was done, how they doing it. I know the tech, the, the technological aspect of it. Okay, the weapons being used, frequency-based weapons for mind control. Okay, a microchip and for remote node monitoring to see if you, the sender received the message, interprets the message. And like I got to, I got to you tonight. And I said goodbye to Alyssa. I said to her, like, I was like, goodbye, girl. And, you know, hear the sirens. And I said it four times just to see if it was going to be. The, and every time I said, yeah, yeah. Hear the, hear the noise. <laughs> and, and every time I said it, right, I follow afterwards. Immediately it would be the, the siren. Mm -hmm. And like I said, when they realized that I was testing them out to see, you know, then they started with, the, oh, my goodness. They started with some, with some, with some fire works that sound like gunshot. And it wasn't one that exploded, you know, like the ones that have all the lights. It was like the M80s, like that one, again. Okay? So, you know, and like I said, they always use the opportunity because it's getting closer to 4th of July. So they will always use the opportunity, um, you know, to do those things, right? Because they're very opportunistic. Understand their, their personality and their mentality. These are the dark triad types of people. They're very opportunistic. Okay, they will throw each other under the bus just to gain a little fame, gain a little power, gain a position. Because that's who they are. That's who they are, snakes. And not, not the good ones, okay? Not the good ones. So, yeah. Anyhow. Uh. I'm going for this bus now. So yeah, yeah, I was saying. So yeah, so you know, that's basically right, 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 right. I'm telling you, stay over there, purple over there, standing by the Burger King. Um why I guess because of the red car that went by you know so he's standing over there with a red bag and looking in my direction as the red car went by and he gets out uh, walks out of he wasn't in the Burger King but he was standing on the side over there um, by the shrubs and you know he walks he walks off <laughs> tell you These are sick individuals, okay? These are sick individuals. All right? And when I get, like I gotta tell you, what, I, you know, some videos I've done, when I get the time to really sit down and really do the video that I, that I truly, truly want to do, but I gotta do a lot of reading, and that's the, the one thing that is blocking me from doing it because every time I start reading, if I start, if I read for any more than 10 minutes or so, it will start with the remote little monitoring of the sirens and all that shit. And then, those ice pick headaches will come back again. The last time I had ice pick headaches, I think I was on, I did a video with, what, I mean, it literally went on for hours. For hours, every few minutes. I couldn't even touch my head, I couldn't even raise my head, I couldn't even, you know, I was in so much pain. So like I said, so when they try to tell you that these, this technology don't cause harm, please. Remember, they're talking, they said the taser is perfectly safe, right? How many people have died of taser, from, from being tasered? They will lie See what I'm saying? Just to experiment and test shit out on the public. Okay, and the vast majority of people who are being abused by these technologies, okay, are people of color, are black people, basically. Yeah, you got, you know, it may have some Hispanics, you have some Asian people in there, what have you, but the vast majority of people we're talking about is black people. Okay? Just as with anything else, right? Okay? Anything that negatively affect, affect a country that has black people in it, black people suffer the most. Okay, besides the, you know, the native, if they're native uh, people of that uh, country, but, you know, they're people of color too. I consider them black, okay? You know, because, because again, people don't understand more history. The whitewashing that took place within certain countries, even here in America. 
the whitewashing of so-called native people. Okay? So, don't believe me? Go look at <clears throat> pictures of, of uh, Chinese people from the 1800s. Go look. You'll see the vast majority of those people are black. And look at China today. They literally try to breed out the black indigenous population and they successfully did. Okay? Right? Same thing they did in Portugal, they did in Brazil. Well, not in Brazil, but uh, Portugal. Where else? Um, Argentina. Okay? They, 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 they breed out the indigenous black population. So yeah. You gotta learn history, man. You gotta learn history. Alright, well I gotta go and see, check and see if this bus is coming. And uh, I'll speak to you guys in the next video.